And that uh, members of the Montana State University uh, rodeo team joining us this morning. First off, uh, gentlemen, uh, tell me who you are, what uh, what your grade is in the school, not your grades, but uh, what class you're in there, and uh, what your event is that you participate in. So I'm Carson King. I'm a sophomore on the rodeo team, and I'm uh, I steer wrestle team rope and calf rope. There you go. And I'm Will Powell. I'm a senior, and I team rope calf rope and steer wrestle as well. That's fantastic. Uh, gentlemen, to my left is uh, head coach Andy Bolich. Andy, let's talk about uh, rodeo. We're going to come back to the athletes in a minute. Spring rodeo, just a couple of weeks away. What a great time it is uh, to be a member of the Montana State University rodeo team. Yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome event every year. We have great crowds, good atmosphere. Kids are pumped for it. Uh, it's our biggest uh, regular season rodeo of the year, so we're excited. Yeah, the very few programs uh, on earth get to participate with a home crowd like uh, you folks have there at the uh, Brick Breen Fieldhouse every year. Yeah, it's been great. And last year we had our first sellout crowd, uh, had a record the night before. So we're looking to be even bigger this year, and uh, it's just exciting. Yeah, crowd fills up. Great, great rodeo action. The other programs that come in and participate in that, what is that like for them to be able to come in and do this too? Because that's a kind of, it, it, you, there's no other venue anything quite like the Brick Breed. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, the biggest stage a lot of them will ever come to you know mm -hmm. it's it's exciting it's pro kind of like pro rodeo action you know but with a great crowd the production's good the openings are cool it's uh it's really neat and they look they look forward to it every year that's perfect that's from the coaching point of view let's talk about it from the athlete point of view first off i want to talk to you about it what's that like trying to prepare for that you're most of your rodeos you're outdoors your horses are geared up for all of that and now you're under the big giant dome up there is there a challenge with that with your animals yeah, there is. I think last year I had one horse that kind of struggled with it, but for the most part, it's usually usually pretty good. We we spend a lot of time competing in pro rodeos during the summer, and we compete pretty much year round. And so, I'd like to say we're always prepared, but it's always you're always jacked up a little more than I, I, more than normal. So. The part that I just find fascinating, I've been to going to rodeos my whole entire life, it's outdoors, you guys are getting up there, you talk about team roping, you're looking over at each other, you're getting ready to go and all of those kind of things. At the Brick Breeding Fieldhouse, it's super loud when all of that's going on. Is that a challenge? A little bit. I mean, when you're trying to communicate with each other, it is, but it's awesome. When you team rope or when you steer wrestle or calf rope and you make a good run and that building goes wild, it's, it's worth it for sure. It's a lot of fun. And, it's a lot of mental games, kind of trying to mentally prepare more than prepare your horses. You got to prepare your horses and prepare yourself, but mentally, it's a big, it's a big deal. Well, that's fantastic. We're hoping a whole bunch of you come out on uh, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th, Brick Breed and Fieldhouse, the annual spring rodeo. Members of the MSU rodeo team joining us this morning, gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're gonna take a quick break. We come back. Matt's gonna take a look at your forecast. Stick around.